What's going on YouTube? It is your man Mr. Lux aka the Mary Gamer and I'm back with another Legends player lock from MLB 15 the show and as you can see we're going to be focusing on center fielder for the New York Yankees Mickey Mantle otherwise known as the Commerce Comet or most people used to call him the Mick and Mickey Mantle he was noted for his ability to hit for both average and power especially like tape measure home runs I'm talking about some deep ones the man won the Triple Crown in 1956 where he led the league in home runs with 52, RBIs with 130, and batting average with 353. Insane. Absolutely insane. Um, you know, he was an all-star. He, he played a total, I believe, of, I think, 18 seasons from 1951 through 1968. And Mantle is regarded to be the greatest switch hitter of all time. Uh, and one of the greatest players and sluggers in baseball history. And out of those 18 seasons, he made the All-Star team 16 times. He was an American League Most Valuable Player for three seasons and a Gold Glove winner for one season. He also appeared in 12 World Series with the Yankees, helping them win seven of them. And he actually holds the records for the most home runs with 18, most RBIs with 40, extra base hits with 26, runs with 42, walks with 43, and total bases of 123, all in the World Series. I mean, who puts up those kind of numbers in the World Series? I mean, first of all, you got to even make it to the World Series, let alone perform like that. I mean, that is crazy. Uh, he's also the career leader, uh, actually tied with Jim Tomei, uh, in walk-off home runs uh, with a combined 13, 12 in the regular season and one in the postseason. So, um... Hey, what more can you say about Mickey Mantle? Uh, he was also inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1974 and was elected to the Major League Baseball All-Century Team in 1999. How many times do you hear something like that? The All-Century Team. I mean, let me just go down some of his other career highlights. Let me just break it all down for you real quick. So he had 20 All-Stars. We already covered that. Seven-time World Series champion. Three-time American League MVP. A Triple Crown. A Gold Glove Award winner, American League batting, American League batting champion, uh, which I talked about earlier with those all the home runs when he won the Triple Crown. Four-time American League home run champion. I mean, come on now, American League RBI champion. Oh my gosh! I mean, uh, and it's no wonder why the the Yankees retired his jersey number of seven. I mean, you know, I think it's well deserved for this uh, man to have his jersey number retired. So, uh, first ballot Hall of Famer, of course, in 1974. That's a no-doubter for this guy. I mean, very, very good hitter, productive hitter, um, and power hitter. So, Mickey Mano was definitely a beast. I mean, I haven't even got to talk about the gameplay you're seeing on the screen because he has so many accolades to cover. Now, I know in this gameplay you see him wearing jersey number 12, but as I put on the annotation on the screen previously, uh, I forgot to update his jersey in the roster file. Uh, oftentimes, this roster file that I'm using is so massive that, uh, you know, some jersey numbers are, are not accurate. And, you know, that was my bad for not making sure that I gave him the correct jersey number for this gameplay. But, and speaking of gameplay, let's jump right into this thing. I mean, I know you've been watching them making solid contact at the plate. Um, now they got the Mets on the hump right there talking to Doc, Dwight Gooden, see if... Uh, you know, he, he still is ready to uh, continue on. And right now we're two for two, bottom of the fifth, and we're up by three runs. Two and two count. Let's see what Mickey does. Here he comes on two and two. And he turns beautifully on that fastball. Another solid base hit right over first base. Another single moving that runner over to third. Nice way to get down. And Doc Gooden is like, man, what, what am I going to do with this guy? He's just too good. Too good of a hitter. <laughs> too good of a hitter. Man, I really wish they would put the historic stadiums in the PS4 version. Um, they just, they're just not going to do it. I don't know if it's more of a... Uh, I don't think it can be a licensing thing. It may be more of a resources thing. Uh, because they do have them in the PS3 version. At least they did. Oh, look at this. He's making... He's. Oh, man. Look at Mickey. Chugging all the way from first to home. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, I know, I know they had all the, the classic stadiums in the PS3 version of MLB 14 to show. I haven't played it 
Um, I haven't played the MLB 15 the show on the PS3 yet, so I can't verify if they have these historical stadiums in, in that game this year. Oh, they got Roger McDowell coming in. All right, Mickey Mantle back up three for three. You know, it was a full count, so we're deep in the count here. What's Roger gonna do? Runners on second and third. Oh, oh, I check swing and they said I went around. Crap. All right, looks like we got David right up to bat. So many others hitless in the ball game. Right now, so it's top of the seventh, and we're right now we're oh, pitching a shutout on these guys. The no there, problem for Mickey the out there, play. not a problem and at all. The Another day at the office. Mickey Another pitcher comes in for the Mets, and now we have got them 11 to 0, bottom of the eighth. I mean, we're just pouring it on. The Yankees are not taking their foot off the gas. And good eye by Mickey, and we get a walk. We'll take walks. Anything to get us on base. Anything to get us on base. All right, Bob Musil. Here we go. Full count on Bob. I'm the only one on, on base right now. Come on, come on. Ah, darn. And turn two. I want to know if there's a way you can perform a slide or if it's just something automatic to where you can interrupt or try to slide into the person trying to throw it to first to cause a double play. Because I've seen the animation before, but I don't know if it's something that occurs randomly or whatever. Oh, that's a good hit. Can't get to it. Oh, that was a good one. In there with the, with the triple. That guy was moving. Jones. All right, we see him hit, and there we go. Looks like we beat the Mets 11 to one. We had 15 hits. Mickey Mantle went three for four, I believe. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Episode 27 of my Road to the Show career will be released tomorrow. Tomorrow. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. I'm Mr. Lux, a.k.a. The Merry Gamer, and I'm out.